Hi, we're here today with Hannah Kerner with the Space Frontier Foundation. How are you doing today? Great. Thank you for having me. Okay, so I understand you were part of the innovation of the economics of Mars panel at last week's H2M Summit. What did you think of the experience? Um, I think that was a very important topic and I was very glad to be a part of it and very glad that the Humans to Mars Summit included this as a topic in this year's conference. I think it's it's a bit different than what they traditionally discuss at the conference, but it is very relevant right now. Um, I think the diverse opinions on that panel really allowed for a robust and productive conversation about what is required for Mars exploration to be sustainable um, and really how the private industry can intertwine with NASA to make that goal a reality. Okay, um, what did you, what were your impressions of the H2M conference as a whole? Um, so I think the Humans to Mars Summit is unique in that it has a single focus compared to other conferences that are more broad, spanning maybe an entire industry. Um, so they're, they're solely focused on human exploration of Mars. I, I think this year's programming and content was extremely valuable and had very relevant discussions about the scientific considerations and technology we need to get to Mars in the next decade. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so could so you, um, could you uh, give us an overview of the Space Found Frontier Foundation's mission and history? Sure. The Space Frontier Foundation was founded in 1988. We're a 501c3 nonprofit with the mission of enabling human settlement of space that is both sustainable and accessible. So we are committed to space entrepreneurship and we offer programs aimed at fostering young leaders, startups, and emerging companies in the space industry. Awesome. So, um, so how does free enterprise and an open marketplace tie into the, the foundation's mission? So, in, in this mission, I said we are we're committed to space settlement that is sustainable and accessible, right? And sustainable means that it is built on market value, that there's a demand for it, that there's a continuing demand. It's not like an Apollo program where we're going to a location for the sake of going to that location, uh, and there's really no infrastructure built around it, right? So developing an open commercial space marketplace is key to this vision and we support uh, and encourage that growth through our programs like new space venture labs to cultivate an industry that supports sustainable settlement awesome. so um what kind of projects is uh, the space frontier foundation working on now our, our longest running projects and really the sort of foundation of the Space Frontier Foundation was political advocacy. Um, so we have, we have projects still that involve um, enabling people to educate members of Congress, um, looking at bills and helping to write legislation that supports the commercial space industry as a whole. Um, but a new project we have started this year that's really an extension of the business plan competition that we hosted uh, 2010 through 2015 is New Space Venture Labs. So New Space Venture Labs is a virtual accelerator uh, with the goal of connecting commercial space startups with the investor community and helping those startups to do their due diligence, uh, be it in marketing and technology development and finding the right mentors um, to, to grow, to be sustainable companies themselves. And uh, our, our other project and certainly our biggest project is the New Space Conference. This is a 10 year running event that brings together entrepreneurs, investors, scientists, engineers, policy leaders, yeah, uh, tech leaders who are interested in commercial space 
to connect them and promote deal making and idea flow. Yes, and I expect that, and um, I understand the next New Space Conference is coming up in June. Um, what do you look forward to with that? Um, yes, it is coming up in June. The conference is June 21st to 23rd. That will be in Seattle, Washington. So we'll have leaders from primarily um, the commercial space industry, the investor community, and the tech community all mixed in with uh, these more traditional established space companies and government representatives to um, to build partnerships together and talk about the biggest challenges we're facing right now. So uh, I was, two of the things I'm most looking forward to is this year we're having a totally new uh, offering that we're calling the Investor Concierge Service where Investors will receive an exclusive pitch book with executive summaries of early stage companies that are present at the conference. Um, and we're allowing companies who are registering to consult with us early on and let us know what type of investment they're seeking so that we can help connect those two groups um, while they're in the same place at the conference. Um, I'm also really excited that uh, we have lots of representation, not just space, you know, it's not, it's not your average space conference where there's, you know, there's kind of the usual suspects of, of all the companies and NASA representatives that you see pretty often at these con. Oh dear, I, I think you just froze. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you now. Uh, we'll also have leaders from companies like uh, HP and Microsoft and uh, these established tech leaders as well. Awesome. Um, well, that's um, all the questions I have. Anything you'd like to add? Hello? Oh, I can hear you. <laughs> yeah, I think you're cutting out for a minute. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, that's the, all the questions I had. Um, Anything you'd like to add? Um, I would just add that if you're interested in attending the New Space Conference, and you, don't be deterred if you've never been to a space conference before, this is probably the best one to get into uh, as your first sort of uh, introduction to the space industry because we have a very open door and it's a, it's a very welcoming community. Um, registration is still open and you can get more information at uh, newspace.spacefrontier.org. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.